at last some good news on the tuberculosis front. After several decades without the slightest innovation, doctors now have access to new diagnosis and therapeutic tools. First a new test, Gene Expert, that speeds up the diagnosis and shows whether the patient is suffering from a resistant form of the disease. And then, since the start of 2013, a new drug. A new drug, betaquiline, has been provisionally registered for treatment of drug-resistant tuberculosis patients. As the drug is still under the clinical evaluation stage, or still under investigation, it can be only used in a compassionate use mechanism. That means it can be used by patients who have no other options for treatment before it becomes available on the market. In 2010, MSF treated more than 30,000 people with tuberculosis. Every day the teams have countless obstacles to overcome. They first have to diagnose the patient, which can prove complicated in certain cases, in children, for example. Then there's the care. For patients suffering from resistant tuberculosis, the treatment will be long, painful and difficult to adhere to, with no guarantee of success. If it fails, there are no options left other than bedequiline, which now can be incorporated into a new protocol. How many has managed to put in place the necessary regulations and mechanisms for compassionate use and together with MSF have had approval for eight patients from the drug company, six of which are already under treatment. These patients are patients of, who have all experienced failure of the regular treatment of drug resistant tuberculosis. That means they've subdued years of injectable treatments, multiple drugs, side effects and it hasn't worked for them. So it's really a last chance for these patients. But betaquiline is no miracle solution. This is only a small step. We don't know a lot about this drug. We don't know about its efficiency or its side effects. In addition, we need a lot more than one drug. But however limited, this progress could be the precursor to a major breakthrough in the treatment of tuberculosis. There are other drugs in the pipeline and we could hope in the next few years there'll be some studies putting these drugs together to make a new regimen for drug-resistant tuberculosis one with less side effects, one that's shorter, cheaper, and that works better. Like that, we'll be able to scale up the use of a new regimen and more people can have access to it. The World Health Organization estimates the number of new multi-resistant tuberculosis cases each year to be 450,000. Yet only a tiny proportion of patients are receiving appropriate care. So for medical teams, accessibility to new treatments is a matter of real urgency.